Today is a massive news story. Absolutely world changing. It's Brexit Day. Brexit, for those of you who don't know, is where Britain is divorcing Europe. Basically. Why is it happening? Well, there's a lot of speculation in the press and in the media about why it's really going on. But the truth of the matter is, since the recession of 2006-2007 and the continued failed policies of the Conservative government, the uh, easy thing to do to get them out of the spotlight is to blame the foreigner. Blame the foreigner. There's where all your problems are. Uh, so that's my view of it. What's yours? If you put the blame on Europe and all its uh, so-called nonsensical ideas, then you've got a scapegoat. So people are not pointing the finger at the local government, they're looking at the European Union and saying, oh, there's the problem. All these uh, foreigners coming over here, taking our jobs, marrying our women, driving our cars. What a crock, absolute crock. Now, I don't usually get political on my YouTube channel, but this is serious, this is very, very important. Because my grandchildren, there's some of them up there. What kind of world are they going to live in? The whole idea of the European Union was a long time in the making. And America had a lot to do with it. Because after the Second World War, they said, come on, you've got to pull yourselves together. You've got to stop fighting all the time. Every time you have a fight, we have to come in and bail you out. Which they have done on two different occasions. Now, the idea of the European Union is if, if we were all connected together in one group, economic group, then the chances of fighting with each other would be reduced. And weirdly enough, for the last 70 or 80 years, while that union has been growing, we haven't had a war. You know, the traditional enemies, France, Germany, uh, Italy and all that, we've been all getting along. I know this is a serious issue and I'm not making light of it at all. At the moment, we're going to start negotiating with Europe for our exit. And those negotiations are going to centre around trade deals. Now, real wars normally occur after trade wars. So you have trade wars, then you have real wars. My feeling is that this is the start of something really, really bad. And people haven't really thought it through properly. Um, my views of Europe have always been the same. Pass the footage. Anything? That was a little good, wasn't it? There we go. So what's going on? You have to have it with you, but they don't want to see it. Mm. Very strange. I think that we are all connected globally, let alone Europe. And uh, we should all be trying to get along, not try and tear each other to pieces. This Brexit vote has caused division in the country, apparently. People don't even feel that they can talk about it in public because people get annoyed to get you know to get angry, um, which is ludicrous, especially when they don't know all the facts. And that's something that's been very very you know hard to find on the ground. People with any actual evidence or facts about why they voted the way they did. So it's a bit of a weird one, you know. Nothing new there. The uh, echo chamber is in full effect, and the people have got their heads stuck in it. The TV, that is. And the other people who haven't got their head stuck in the TV are in the other echo chamber, which is the web. They listen to all their thoughts being bounded back to them. So it's a bit of a tricky situation. My concern is for my grandchildren. What kind of world are they going to live in? Are they going to be going to war again? In these circumstances, when you've got this massive change occurring, there's a simple solution. Follow the money. Where is the money going? Who's making the money out of this deal? The Conservatives have wrecked the economy and they're to blame in Europe. So, okay, supposing two years down the line we get out of Europe and everything's tickety-boo and we're trading with the rest of the world. Donald Trump said he's going to work with us, which is nice. And uh, the, the country's still in economic turmoil. There's people in this country who haven't had a pay rise in seven years. So, you know, it's curious. We keep being told that 51% of the population voted for Brexit. Subsequently, people have been interviewed 
all over Essex, all over Kent, all the you know the coastal towns that voted for Brexit. And many of them have said, well, I didn't understand what was going on anyway. And really, it was a vote against the government. That's my view.